Hey, it's Aiden again from uh, Street Combat System. Today's episode, we're going to work on some uh, combinations using the hammer fist. I know a lot of people, especially if you were taught to have, had a box like I was at a young age, you were taught, you know, to turn your fist out, throw that step in, throw that jab, follow with the, the right cross. You know, in, in martial arts and street fighting, things are a little different. You know, you always see those guys throwing the haymakers like that. And, it's really not efficient if you're in a tight spot. If you're in a crowded bar, you know, or a restaurant or a, a small space like a, a men's room inside a bar, you can't, you don't want to be thrown like that because first thing people do, they go like that, somebody's going to step in and knows what they're doing and, and block it and then pop you in your face. So with the hammer fist, you're already here. This is a natural position. You can just shoot those punches out. You can convert it to an uppercut. You can throw a block. And again, with blocks, I haven't really gone over blocks a lot, but with blocks, you throw it like a strike. You see that roundhouse haymaker coming at you, you want to step into it and throw that block just like a strike. You want to, you want to, you hit somebody here, it hurts like a son of a bitch. So again, you want to throw that out. But getting back to the, uh, the hammer fist, a couple good combinations. You're going to make a tight fist as always, curl those fingers in. You want to hit with this part of your hand. There's less chance, and with a hammer, hammer punch, there's less chance of you breaking those last two knuckles or jamming your wrist up because you don't have to turn anything. Here, you're turning this way. Same with the, the right cross, you're turning this way. Hammer fist, you basically step in, throw the jab the same way, throw that jab in, and you're going to follow with the right cross. You can also rotate them. If hands are coming up or he's trying to get in on you, you can rotate as you punch and break those. Uh, break those hands away as they're coming at you. Somebody's walking towards you as their hands come up, boom, boom, you throw that punch. But again, combination we're gonna to do today, we're gonna to throw a, a jab, punch, step forward, elbow, come across the face, break, and then come back with another punch. Or you could come back with, you could do the same thing, boom, boom, with a palm. But let's try to stick with the punches today. So we're gonna come in, you're gonna step forward, Throw the jab, come back, throw the punch, elbow, step in, break the face, throw that other punch. Now, if he keeps coming at you, the reason why is a lot of people, you get that first punch in, you know, big dude, somebody that's used to getting hit or has experience fighting, he may keep coming at you. So you throw that jab, throw that punch, he's still coming, then you step, throw that elbow, and when you throw that elbow, this is what you want to hit with, then you're going to come back. If his hands go up, you're going to rake the face, clear the hands, boom, throw that other punch. So again, you're going to step in, by that time I throw a palm, that's just habit for me. So again, you're going to go, okay, now if you're more comfortable throwing that palm, this is the last strike, go ahead and, and use it. For me, it's just a habit because I'm like, I'm so used to, that's the easiest thing to do, somebody gets up in your face, no matter where your hands are, you can throw that, throw that palm and not have to worry about injury and it still has a devastating effect. So again, you're going to do this, boom, boom, and you want to practice that 10 times on both sides till you get it down. Doesn't have to be pretty, you know, I've been doing it a long time, <clears throat> you get in a good stance, if you're, if you're right-handed, put that left foot forward while you're practicing. You can move in, move back, you know, move forward. And get your uh, strikes in. And again, left-handed, same way. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, or you can do it with a punch. And then if you have a bag, you want to practice the same thing on the bag. Boom, boom, boom. And again, that's extremely effective, extremely easy to remember. It's all right here. Like I said, if you're right-handed, left foot first. If you're left-handed, right foot first, because if you're left-handed, you can jab with your right, and your left is your power hand. So, and that's stuff you don't learn at a karate school. Unless you're being taught by a guy who has street fight experience, it's most of the instructors. Uh, most schools I've gone to, the instructors, have never been in a street fight. They always preach, well, we're not supposed to do that. And 
hit some of them that have had, I've heard stories of third and fourth degree black belts get locking up in a bar fight because they, they haven't conditioned themselves to flick that switch and go from, hey, I'm the nice guy, I'm gonna fucking kill you, motherfucker. Say, now I'm the nice guy again. So you have to train yourself. I don't care if you're the nerdiest motherfucker on the earth, I love the nerds. You know, you have to go from, whoa, 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 hey, you know, I, I don't want to get in a fight, to, okay, you bought the farm, motherfucker, I'm ready to tear your fucking ass up and send you to the fucking hospital. Now I'm the nice guy again, okay? Practice that ten times on both sides, and Jim from uh, New York, thanks for the positive comment, man. You have any questions? Email me uh, through YouTube or go to Street Combat Systems at uh, yahoo.com. Until next episode, see ya.